I was in Kahuzibiega National Park in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo to visit the largest gorilla species, the Eastern Lolian Mountain Gorilla. After making the trip to Congo, I had one question on my mind. Just how close to the gorillas would I get? Kahuzibiega is a UNESCO World Heritage Site renowned for its unique rainforest habitat and rich biodiversity, including the endangered grower gorilla. The eastern lowland mountain gorillas are a critically endangered species with only a few hundred individuals remaining in the wild, making every encounter with them a truly unforgettable experience. The mountains of Kahuzibiega are their primary habitat and so the best place in the world to experience them. I'm an avid hiker but was about to head out on the hike of a lifetime in Africa through dense jungle and steep terrain of the Congo rainforest to hopefully find some mountain gorillas. Our expedition began with a drive north from my hotel in Bukavu in time for an early morning arrival at park headquarters. Park rangers explained that the park is a sanctuary for eastern mountain gorillas, a critically endangered subspecies. Sustainable tourism to Kuzibiega helps create awareness and supports conservation efforts for the gorillas. Tourism also supports the local population of pygmy villagers and reduces poaching. The park ranger explained that there were both habituated and unhabituated gorillas in the park and that we were going to trek to visit one of the families of habituated gorillas who are very comfortable with human visitors. This family had just had two babies, so hopefully we'd get a chance to see them too. We were introduced to Lambert, the chief guide of the park for over 25 years. We all loaded into an SUV for the drive further up the park's main dirt road and deeper into the jungle. Lambert and his team of trackers are from a local pygmy tribe from a village adjacent to the park, and I was told that the income they earn from guiding trips at the park helps support their entire village. We followed Lambert in a single file line off the road and into the deep jungle, with his trackers using machetes ahead of us to clear the way. The terrain was definitely steep, and we held onto trees and branches to steady our walk. We were less than 30 minutes into our trek when I turned my head and there they were. Just off to my right, one of the mother gorillas was sitting with her two four-year-old twins, one of whom stood and pounded her chest on seeing us. We'd made contact. I could barely believe my eyes. We all stood silently in awe and realized we were in the presence of the entire family of gorillas as they were going about their morning routine, picking and eating green bamboo shoots. The family includes two females, each with babies, and then their dad, the silverback gorilla, laying nearby on his back in a patch of sun. We were startled only once when the silverback decided to stand up and move his family a few feet further into the jungle to find a fresh patch of green shoots. The encounter was amazing and those of us in the group kept looking at each other in disbelief. We could hardly believe we were there enjoying this time with this family of gorillas. Lambert kept us in a tight group and always at a respectful distance from the gorillas, but we were still only a few feet away from them. The gorillas were definitely aware of our presence, but took very little interest in us. Still, the experience was surreal and it was hard to believe we were able to have such an incredible and up close experience with this peaceful family of gorillas. After almost two hours with the gorillas, we hiked back out to the road and the waiting SUV for the ride back to headquarters. The trek was a breathtaking experience and one everyone in our group agreed far exceeded our expectations. I felt lucky to have time with this family of gorillas and look forward to exploring more of the park and its diversity on my next visit to Congo.